15 days maximum وبعد كده خلاص they, they can easily get you can easily get them off شكرا دكتور امين وميرسي قوي ودلوقتي بقى باذن الله هنرحب باستاذتنا و واستاذه الدكتوره توحيده شرفتنا وهي كانت يعني قلقانه في الموضوع كورونا بس هي اصرت انها لازم تحضر معانا وتشاركنا مؤتمرنا وفرحتنا وانها تبقى حاضره الاستاذه الدكتوره ليرين محاضرتها يعني قالت ان لازم احضرها و... وانا سعيده انها حضرتك موجوده معانا و... ورغم كل الظروف اللي بتجي و... وباذن الله كده بقى هنسمع من حضرتك تقديم مع الريم بس انا هقدم بس الاول محمد حسين مدرس اطفال ونيوتولوجي هيقول لنا كيس برزنتيشن وستريكت التايم بقى يا محمد عشان الوقت بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فيرست اوف اول اي وونت تو شو ماي ثانكس to Professor Isham Awad, Professor Nihal Rajal, and Professor Safa Shafi for giving me the opportunity to share a case in this conference. Uh, I'm going to tell a story, which is a very short story, inshallah, for this pretty baby. She's a female patient, 38 weeks of gestation, third order of birth of non-consanguinous marriage. Natal history was free. The baby was born with normal vaginal delivery at 38 weeks of gestation with a smooth resuscitation and no complication. Her condition started just after birth when the patient developed attacks of hematemesis and melina associated with jaundice, for which she was admitted in a private NICU for 16 days. She received fresh frozen plasma and vitamin K with no further details or final diagnosis. On admission to our unit, we have uh, a vitally stable baby. She was active and crying, we have good suckling. She was just jaundiced baby with the following vital data. Her blood pressure, heart rate, and temperature were normal. Her random blood sugar were low. She had ecmotic patches all over her body. The chest was fine and the heart was fine as well, but her abdomen was lax and had hepatomegaly, and she had a normal color of urine and stools. So we go through the initial investigations. CBC was normal. We had a high CRP. PTT was prolonged. INR was prolonged. And here comes the story. Bilirubin levels were high and were almost direct hyperbilirubinemia. Liver enzymes was, was high and increased gradually. Kidney functions were normal. LDH was 345, while alkaline phosphatase was high. So to this point, it is just a simple case of neonatal cholestasis. By definition, when you have the conjugated bilirubin more than 20% from the total bilirubin, when the bilirubin level is more than five, it is neonatal cholestasis. And the golden rule is you should exclude biliary atresia. And so we ordered a fasting abdominal ultrasound. What you are going to see in the normal ultrasound, you all know that you are going to see the gallbladder and the portal triad. And here, when you do a fasting uh, ultrasound, you see on the left side, the gallbladder size, and after feeding, the gallbladder will contract. And in our case, the ultrasound excluded extra hepatic biliary atresia. So what's next? Is it infection? Actually, we had bacterial infection, but the viral serology was normal, storage was negative, and there is no urinary tract infection. Is it endocrinopathies? Actually, we want to exclude the hypothyroidism because there is a cause for hypothyroid-induced cholestasis. TSH was low, but the free T4 and T3 was normal. The baby also had hypoglycemia, but her critical sample during hypoglycemia was normal. Is it BFIC? In, BF, in BFIC, we, we will find that the liver enzymes will be low, but gamma GT will be high. In this case, both liver enzymes and the gamma GT were high. So is it metabolic disease? Actually not. Galactose 1-phosphate was normal. Saxonyl acetonin urine was normal. Echo, fundus, and cranial sonar were all normal. She was not syndromatic. Ammonia level starting was 150s and then decreased gradually. Lactate level was 49 and then decreased gradually. And extended metabolic screening was normal. So to cut it short, we did a liver biopsy. And it was a surprise because the liver biopsy showed a picture suggestive of extrahepatic biliary atresia. 
at this stage, what you are going to do, there is no time. So you should decide, is it surgical or not? We did a HIDA scan. And actually, the report showed that there was no features of excretion of the dye in the intestine. But after revising the films with Professor Hisham and my dear professors and mentors, they saw that actually there was excretion of the dye in the duodenum and in the intestine. So it's still query. We did intraoperative cholangiogram. And it was completely normal. Another biopsy was taken intraoperative, and it was not different from the first biopsy. But what happened after cholangiogram? Everything went fine. Jaundice improved, sepsis parameters improved, liver enzymes decreased, bilirubin levels decreased, and the patient was discharged to follow up in hematology and neonatology clinics. INR become one, PTT is just 38, PT is 13, liver enzymes dropped, bilirubin is just one. And here is the photo of the baby on discharge. And here is our pretty baby taking her picture two days ago after approval from the parents. And I, will, I finished my case. I want to show a special thanks to neonatology team, neonatal surgical team, Professor Gheda and Professor Nancy, hepatology team, Professor Lorreen for her guidance during preparing this case and for her guidance in the management of this case and the pediatric surgery team. And thank you. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أولا أنا بشكر المجموعة بتاعت النيناتولوجي على نشاطهم واجتهادهم ورغبتهم دايما في نشر العلم الحي وأنا بشكرك يا محمد حسين دكتور محمد حسين الحالة متقدمة جميل جدا ويعني it's a very nice collaboration بين الكبد وبين النيناتولوجي وإحنا الحقيقة فعلا الحتة دي محتاجة دايما يعني نحط عليها سبوت لايت وإن الحتة المهمة قوية في الأطفال في الـ first two months of life أو حتى في الـ first six months of life هي الـ cholestasis طبعا بقى أنا بيسعدني وبيشرفني ويعني يمكن أقول إن أنا جاي النهاردة مخصوص علشان لريم عشان أقدم لريم أنا كنتش أتكلم شفتي بقى <تصفيق> آه لرين آه بنتي واستاذه الكبد وهي الحقيقه مجتهده جدا وان شاء الله باذن الله ترفع من شان عياده الكبد كتير آه لرين اشتغلت الكبد من هي مدرس مدرس يا لرين من هي نايب من هي نايب وبالتالي ان شاء الله الاكسبيرينس بتاعها از اكسلنت في في الموضوع ده وهي لما اتكلمنا عن موضوع الكوليستيزز كلنا هنستفيد وكلنا هنفهم حاجات جديده وحتى الحاجات القديمه هتحط لنا عليها هايلايتس فتنورنا فيها. يسعدني يا لرينا انك تتفضلي وتبتدي الركشر بتاعك اتفضلي. اقول انا كلمه بقى كمان؟ لا الكلام ده انا بقى يعني أنا بحيي دكتورة لرين، دكتورة لرين صديقتي وزميلتي وأختي ودفعة واحدة، اشتغلنا مع بعض كتير وأيام دكتورة توحيدة أنا فاكرة أنا وهي أنا لرين كنا نواب وكنا مع بعض واشتغلنا مع دكتورة توحيدة كتير، وكنت كنت فعلا حابة الهيباتولوجي وحضرت مع دكتورة توحيدة ليفر بايوبسي أيام ما كنا احنا بنعملها، ويعني وكنت فعلا هاخد هيباتولوجي واشتغل معاهم بس للأسف دخلت نيوتولوجي بس برضه يعني للأسف ليه للأسف لا في هذا التوقيت كنت زعلانة يعني في هذا التوقيت كنت زعلانه بس بعدين حبيت